Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. I'm going to do a quick what's sold. Let's take a look at the items here. Uh, so we had these Converse shoes. We actually picked them up for Sapir, but he didn't really want them. So we sold them. Uh, I think we took Sapir sent out an offer for $6.99 plus shipping just to get rid of them. So they've been sitting for a little while. Uh, but they're in good shape. They're Converse. Uh, we also sold these Doc Martens that you saw in our haul, the little kids Doc Martens with the glitter. Those sold for $15 plus shipping. And you also saw this girl, I believe. Well, actually, I don't know. We got her for $1.99 at the regular Goodwill. She's super cute. She's got little barrettes in her hair. Um, she sold... It's a Hunter brand Shiba Juku doll for $12.99 plus shipping. We sold this little ornament here. That was $0.99 cents plus shipping. Uh, it's getting pretty close to the holiday, so we just want to get rid of some of this stuff. Um, but that one's cute. They actually requested to see if we can uh, wrap this up as a Christmas gift, so I was happy to do that for them. And we also sold this big hero plush. Uh, we got $14.99 plus shipping on that. So I'm going to get these packed up here and get them out the door. Uh, we're pretty much down to the last <laughs> few days. Uh, actually, Christmas is around the corner, so I don't think any of these are Christmas gifts except for this one. And it is going first class, but I don't know if they'll get it on time. So hopefully, we'll see. All right, guys. So you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Good morning everyone. It is just after 6 o'clock on Saturday morning. The Christmas rush is over. It is now we're going to be pretty much smooth sailing into the new year with the business at least. So let me uh, start pulling some packages and uh, I'll show you what's sold. Alright, first thing that's sold is this little porcelain Care Bear figurine. It's of a uh, from like the 80s so uh, i don't know their names but like grandpa bear i think he's over here actually all right let's see i got cs3 he should be over here let's find him probably inside of that little blue tub Yes. So here he is. Just uh, checking it again to see if there's any new damage, but it looks good. All right. So on that one. We got uh, five ninety nine plus shipping. All right, and uh, let's see, we sold another one of those um, the posters from the Wild West. <clears throat> I think I can reach it from over here. One of these, The Gathering. Picked up this whole thing for like, I don't know, $2.99 or something. There's like a hundred posters in there. I've been selling them for about $10 each, $9.99. I have sold, I think, one for $7.99 off of an offer. But they continue to sell. Like I said, I've got over a hundred, so we're looking at a thousand a thousand dollars in profit before taxes that's it's a really good buy and uh we got the 9.99 on that one without the offer <clears throat> have two more items to pull on the main account and then i believe we have three on the secondary so just a moment let me find the other two this thing is pretty close to the uh Grumpy Bear. I'm not really sure how I missed it, but here it is. This uh, Pokemon Pinball. The football helmet came out of here, so we were able to put quite a few items in here. Of course, these plush are in the front. Uh, set 
that down for a second. There we go. So yeah, this thing, it doesn't actually use a pinball. It, it just uses these lights. It's kind of weird. It does respond like an actual pinball machine would. But the, the odd circumstance is when it gets hung up right here. And that light just stays lit if you continuously press one of the triggers multiple times. It'll just stay right there. So it doesn't really act completely like a pinball machine. I was never able to actually get it up into this little area with Charmander. So I'm not sure what that does. Uh, this one I know released quite a few balls at once. And that was crazy considering this is just lights. It's not, it's not balls at all. Uh, we got $19.99 plus shipping for that guy. And uh, gotta still find that last item. So give me a moment. All right, well, you know, it's again in the same spot. Well, this is not the last item. This is actually the first time on the second account. I'm still looking for that last item. But uh, right up here, this is, this is a good thing to look out for, considering the size, the weight, the cost. So we got this at the bins, and maybe I paid a quarter for it. Really, really light. And this plushie sold for $29.99 plus $9 shipping uh, flat rate to Canada direct. So really good find there, really good flip. The Pokemon game, I believe, was picked up at a yard sale. It might have come out of the bins, but I think that was a yard sale buy. He was definitely out of the bins. And he was maybe 10 cents. He's very, very light. And you already know about the poster. So let me continue. I've got two more to pull on the second account along with that one item that I'm looking for on the first. Okay, next item's over here in B19. So let's find B19. Most likely the bottom bin here. Yes, it is. So let us peel back the layers. Set you up right here. back with us just in case i'll leave those bins down so i'm still looking for one item show you the two that i did come across uh first is already on the table i almost packed it away I picked up this ink not too long ago and we paid uh at the bins maybe a dollar for that we got 14.99 plus shipping and then we sold Right here, this is El Chavo from this uh, Spanish television show. I believe it's for kids, but I've never watched it. Um, let's see what we got for him. Sorry. And on him, we got six dollars plus four forty nine in shipping. So not a big sale, but uh, still. Not a bad profit, considering it's going to go with first class. We're going to make some money off of that. Cover our fees, etc. Um, last item that sold is I will show you right here. And if I come across it, I'll show it to you. But it's just a little, uh, what do you call it, Imagine X Or Play School Marvel Superhero Adventures Lizard figure from Spider-Man. This thing is like two inches tall. We got $4.99 plus $3.82 in shipping. And that is that is everything for today. Um, like I said, the uh, the Christmas rush is over. So this weekend is going to be pretty easy. Uh, there's no need to really even pack this stuff right here. Because I did not have one single message that said I need to get this by Christmas. So we're going to do our usual shipping. I just got a head start. And we will ship out on Monday, but you won't you won't see this as part of a huge uh, what's sold at, uh, on Monday morning. Anyway, uh, thank you guys 
for hanging out with me this morning. Uh, if we do do anything today in terms of sourcing, we'll take you guys along with us. We haven't been doing that as uh, often as we'd like because of how busy we've been. Uh, we, we didn't want more video content to edit when we aren't even making a penny off of the, uh, the YouTube yet. So, yeah, uh, we'll talk to you guys later, and maybe we'll, we'll see you out and about.